Hey everyone, it's Piotr Gankiewicz here and in this quick video I will show you how to get started with using the SQL Server on the Linux. So at first you need to go to this website and pick the correct version of your operating system. So I'm using, using the elementaries, so I chose the Ubuntu Linux installation guide. So once you click it here, you can see this uh, few commands and it's very, very easy to do. It took me a minute to get it done and half the time I spent on copying these commands to the terminal. So it's really lightning fast. Once you get it done, make sure you install these tools as well. It's also very easy to do. And finally, you can uh, try to test your connection. So when you click here on this connect and query tab, you can see there is this command that will connect you for the SQL CLI. So I have this secret password of mine here and this command prepared. So just copy it here and I'll execute this simple query. Okay, go. Yes, yeah, you can see I have listed my databases names. All right, so if you're familiar with the Visual Studio Code, this great IDE, and there is this very nice extension that will let you connect to the MS SQL and run the queries. So if you go to this website and uh, scroll down here, you can find here this link and it will take you to this site where you will find this very comprehensive guide how to configure it. So let me show you how, is, how easy it can be configured. So I just create a new file, just Control N, hit the Control N, and now hit the Control Shift and P, type in SQL, select Connect, right? It will ask you to change this language to the SQL, just yes, SQL. And it will ask you to create a connection profile if you don't have any yet. So just click here, type in the localhost as the instance name. Now skip it, enter, and our login will be this SA. And here you need to copy your password, so this one. And of course it's appeared, so I have to repeat it. Yeah. So click connection profile, localhost, enter, SA, my password. Yeah, remember my password. And it will be named as a localhost profile. So as you can see down here, it's connecting to database and I'm already connected. So I can use this query again, copy it, and now click Control Shift E, execute it, and I have my database names here. That's very neat, isn't it? And now let me show you how to create a very simple c -sharp application that will uh, actually connect to this database and do the same thing. So let's take this connection string from here and open my demo app. So within my demo app, I only have this Dapper dependency installed. So just make sure that you will uh, include this and run the .NET restore. Okay, once we have it, I can just get rid of this guy and write the following code. So our connection will be a new SQL connection. And here I can paste my connection string. And of course I need to add reference, so I just click control and that. Okay, and here I can do something like uh, results or maybe names. And it will be connection that query and it will be of type dynamic. And this query comes from the dapper. And of course, if you want to, you can also use this uh, async, query async, of course. And finally, I can run my very simple SQL query, which will be select name from sys databases. Databases, all right. And I can execute it. So let's just do something like this name and names and let's write it out console write line name all right let's run our app and see how it goes yeah so it's working so that's all you need to do to get up and running with using the linux sql server hope you enjoyed see you